is 2018 and time for the blue and gold spring game here at Albany State University Golden Rams getting ready for the 2018 campaign and uh, winding down spring practice as uh, coach Gabe Gardena going into his second year here at Albany State University and, he, and he's barely really been here a year uh, and we're ready to get this thing kicked off. I'm Fred Suttles along with Norman Newton and coach Jesse Massey in the corner. All right. How you doing guys? I'm good, man. I'm good. No. Everything's good. Beautiful Ready to rock thing. and roll, baby. Yeah, coming off 2017, a six and four campaign. Uh, of course, didn't end the way we wanted it, uh, but you know you got to regroup. And uh, realizing Coach uh, Gardena came in late with his staff, very late, and uh, still was able to have a winning record. But you know we want a lot more, and uh, you, you get it done early. So this is going to be the, the first of his recruiting class. Uh, of course, uh, you got some of your transfers here. They have signed at least 19. And the rest of those guys will be coming in over the summer. But right now you get a chance to look at your returning guys and those transfers that are already here. And uh, spring is, is really a good chance to get that, that, that outlook. You're trying to put the pieces together of the puzzle and, and, and see where you're weak at and where you're strong at and where you need some places in the norm. And that's going to be very crucial today. This is the first step to get looking at that. Yeah, Fred mentioned we didn't end the way we wanted to, but we did it in a good fashion. We beat Fort Valley in the class, and that was a good thing. And we did it with a quarterback who's still on the roster, and he, he only played that one full game, and he looked dynamite out there. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what these quarterbacks are going to do today. It's going to be an unusual game format. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get into that. But this, this should be a lot of fun to watch, and we'll get to see some talent that's going to be out on, on display in the fall. All right. We'll be starting momentarily now. This, this game will go four quarters, spring game, and the way it's going to go, it'll be uh, three 15-minute quarter. First, second, and third quarter is a 10-minute halftime, and then the fourth quarter is going to be a 12-minute running clock. And so the way it goes, actually, you, you'll see the offensive players wearing our, our gray jerseys, silver gray jerseys, uh, and our defensive players are dressed out in blue. But it's blue versus gold, and that really is determined by the quarterbacks. So the blue team quarterbacks are going to be uh, Dylan Bowley wearing number seven and number eight, Kalias Williams, the guy Norman just talked about, out of Thomasville. So we have Randolph County and Thomasville representing the blue team at quarterback, and the gold team quarterbacks are going to be Chancellor Johnson, number 10, and a new, another new guy, he's a walk-on. Number five is Rounds Lucent, win jersey number five. So uh, we, we're going to follow those quarterbacks, and uh, the, as they get in the end zone, that'll be points for whichever quarterback is in the game. And, yeah. and they're, they're trying to make sure they do a good job so they give Coach Gardena a good look and doing good things on the field. Norm, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying, I was going to yeah. say, I expect the offense to show out today. Um, we mentioned that. Uh, Williams started the game against Fort Valley last year and played really well. Chancellor Johnson played at the game, played the entire season. Uh -huh. Sometimes he was injured, but when he was healthy, he was dynamite. And he has a lot of weapons returning. The, the, the top two rushers are returning. A couple of his uh, best wide receivers going to be out there. Even Takevian Harris, I think, who was hurt um, late in the season. I think he missed half the season. I think he's going to be back out there. So the offense is going to be really – I expect them to play really well today. And, boy, that defense is going to have to catch up. All right, so starting the uh, Rams uh, offense is going to be number eight, the quarterback, Kalias Williams. He's going to be a sophomore coming up this year, uh, and he did pass for 193 yards, 16 for 31 on last season. He'll get to start at quarterback as the Rams will be going from left to right, and this will be the blue team. Now, as, of course, quarterback wearing a white jersey, but he's got blue numbers on it, <laughs> blue team, and – and we'll get a, our first look here. First snap from the 30-yard line here at the Albany State University Coliseum. It's the Blue and Gold Spring Game 2018. Really good weather, nice warm, and a good crowd. Uh, a, a good showing of students and alumni in the stands here. So our first play, we'll see our tight end reset to the side here. Quarterback Williams will rotate right, looks downfield, going to throw it on a rope and incomplete, looking for number 83, Javon Wooten. And uh, he's another guy uh, coming into his second year. Wooten last year had three receptions for 26 yards. And that ball, I don't know if it had a chance to be completed, incomplete, to be second and ten. Yeah, he had to hold yeah. on to that one a little too long and let him outside. Um, Good-looking play from the beginning. The defense was there on that uh, defense, kind of in a trail position. But they were all over it and, made it and had him stretched out a little further than he wanted to go. Number three, Mike Green returning as a wide receiver, leading receiver last year for Albany State, second and ten. Blue team from the 30-yard line as uh, they look over, get instructions. Coach uh, Gardena, of course, uh, he is not only the head coach, he's offensive coordinator calling the plays. 
And uh, we'll go through his assistant coaches. Got a couple of new coaches on staff as well here. Second and ten play. Williams is going to hand off to uh, running back. And Stuffed see, see, see if we can pick up the numbers yeah. on some of these jerseys. Uh, number 47 in to help make the stop there on defense for the blue team is Stephon Pierre. And uh, who was that at run at the running back? And maybe number four in the game, McKinley Habersham. And Habersham, of course, one of the key uh, guys out there on offense of the Rams last year, had 850 rushing yards, and he was number one in all-purpose yards for the Rams, 120 a game. That time, three yards. It'll be third, nine, and seven Rams at the 33-yard line. Blue team on offense. Williams at quarterback here. Third down, back to pass, under pressure. Steps away and flushed out to the right. He's going to run it, get to 35, 40. First down, 45, and they're going to blow it dead. At the uh, first down point, I think, uh, and I think those quarterbacks are going to be protected. You won't yeah, see them. You won't see yeah. them take a lick. Yeah, Charmaine White came in and he held up because that was a sack all the way. He blitzed off the defensive off the left edge. side. Yeah. yeah, and he had a clean shot at the quarterback. That that would have been a sack defensively for the Rams. I said the offense was going to look pretty good, but the defense is looking good so far. Exactly. Getting pressure on the quarterback and uh, stretching out the receivers. Ten yards on the run for the quarterback, Williams. First and ten at the Albany State, 43. Blue team ready to go. Williams yelling out the count here in the pistol format. Again, looking to the right. Mike Green lines up on the right side at wide receiver. Got a man split wide left. Two backs in the ball game. Now I believe that is Fraze back there with Habersham for ASU on first down. Handoff to Habersham. and going to break a tackle across the 45, bring him down at about the 47. And then on the help make the stop is going to be number 24, Kendall Parker. So, uh, oh, Chapman got in there a little there. bit too, there, Fred. He did a good job of filling that hole too, Daquan Chapman. So, Chapman in there to help assist. It'll be a gain of about three, we'll call it. It'll be second down and seven for the blue team, Williams. Second season coming out of Thomasville, Georgia. Still at quarterback for Albany State. First possession. We're in the first quarter and, uh, Clock not running, but of course we're doing four quarters today here. Williams under pressure, and boy, that's that's yeah. going to be good coverage. Nobody was open. That, that blue team defense doing a good job back there, and uh, the dirty blue, and he looked all over the field, had nowhere to go, and they had him in the pocket. He couldn't even escape. That, that was that was what you call what do you call it when you have cover sack. Yeah. Cover yeah. sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number twenty, I think, got that Jalen yeah. Boyd trailing his man deep down the field, and he had a good season for the Rams last year. Um, he was looking deep, and boy, it was all over his guy, and he kind of started looking around for receivers, took his eyes from down the field, and uh, just then didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah, and he couldn't escape. He looked left and right, couldn't get out of the hole, couldn't find a man. It'll be third down still, about uh, seven to go. Back to pass here from the 45. Williams throw over the middle end. It is dropped. Whoa. That was behind him just a little bit, and he couldn't hold on to it. Defender yes. came in at the last second to break it up, but that ball was just a hair behind uh, the intended receiver. Yeah, that's yeah. number 87, Devontae Halley. And uh, Fred, I, I – I, that ball was behind him, but you have to make that catch. Okay, he, he, what's the rule now? Hit your hands? He hit, hit both his hands, <laughs> and he had two chances at it, kind of yeah. juggled it. And, uh, boy, that's a catch that in the game you want to see that guy pull it down. But, you know, it's just spring, and so we're going to say good defensive play. Yeah. We're gonna give some. We're gonna give a Ram a credit, some credit <laughs> somewhere on, on either side of the ball today. All right, Bellinas, of course, returns to do all the kicking uh, so far for the Rams. He's the punter and the kicker, and averaged uh, just under 40 yards a punt on the season, 39.7 last year. So blue team will have to punt it away, and uh, we should see uh, gold team uh, possession coming up here from around the. 20, see they spot it down about the 21 yard line here. So we're just on the way here. We're in the first quarter here at the 2018 Blue and Gold Spring Game and looking ahead to the season boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, we, we, we start Labor Day weekend. We're going to go through this uh, as well. Valdosta State game number one, September 1st and that's a big game and uh, and they were shocked last year. Uh, a, a really solid performance by the Rams and, uh, and I think that opened the eyes and we, we jumped out there. Valdosta Tuskegee and and, uh, again, we, we go down there, and, and they're going to not want to make it two years in a row. So that's going to be interesting, and we'll run down there. So Chancellor Johnson getting the chance at quarterback here, going from right to left, goal team possession at the 30-yard line. Johnson will hand off to his back, and short yardage, about three yards on the carry, and that is uh, I can't see that number. maybe 20, maybe Calvin Lewis, Calvin number 22. Lewis. Yeah, 22. 22, yeah. yeah. Calvin Lewis on the run for the Rams for three yards. And a short game, it'll be second down and seven. 
Well, the Rams really look looking good as far as returning players on offense. The top five rushers from last year are all coming back. That's going to bode well for this offense. Second down, seven. Three receivers for Albany State here. Johnson, of course, 6'5", weighing about 240 pounds. The uh, quarterback ready to go. I talked to him briefly this morning. I asked him who was going to win. What do you think he said? <laughs> Goal team. <laughs> And on second down, he's going to hand off. Boy, that was a good play. I know where That's to go. Number. Stuffed it. Number 59. Yeah. Isn't that to make the stop for the Dirty Blue defense? Yeah. That's uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Jason, Jason, linebacker. Got maybe a yard on the play. It'll be third down and six. Nowhere to go. And he, he's got to be a leader this year. He's number 10. What is he, a sophomore or junior this year? No. He's a sophomore, right, Fred? I think he's quarterback. Yes, sir. Yeah, third-year uh, sophomore. So, okay. he's a red shirt so sophomore. So, he, he got to step up this year. This is his team. Yep. Uh, checking in at tight end, this guy here is about 6'5", at least. Ashard Jackson, number 91, wearing that jersey out there. He's in the game at tight end. Third and six Rams at the Albany State 34 goal team. Back to pass, Johnson. And they had him in the backfield. That's going to count as a sack. They blow that it dead true. inside the 30. And, again, boy, both teams, uh, uh, the – Blue team got a first down, but uh, this team had three and out. Yeah. And, again, uh, uh, had nowhere to go. And Fred. just like I said at the top, the uh, defense just going to dominate. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give Tyrese. Tyrese did a good job on that play right there. Defense lineman, he did a good job of staying put. Tyrese Brown. Yeah. He's out of Orlando, Florida, so doing a good job. And no special teams today. Of course, uh, uh, we get Bolinas a little action here, out here punting. And, of course, I believe that is Fraze, who will be uh, probably our starting return guy. Good point, yeah. Effort. yeah, and that's over his head. And if that was in a game, hopefully it, it'll be a good oh, result boy. inside the <laughs> five-yard line. Let, let, let's mention about the NFL a little bit. You know, they're not going to kick off anymore. Am I correct? I they, hadn't they, heard that rule change yet. They, they got to vote the on vote it. on the NFL? Yeah. Wow. It is the most dangerous play in the NFL. Yeah. I, I know that you see the statistics out there that more concussions and injuries occur on the kickoff and punt returns to any other place, so it's something to consider. And uh, we, we'll have to see how it's modified in the college game if something like that comes down. But no kick return? That's part yeah, of the game. They looking at that. Uh, well, they, they, may, they may modify it. Yeah, I'm, yeah that's going to be interesting. I, I'm like you. I don't, yeah. see, I don't see how you can take out the punting game and the kickoffs all, totally. They're talking about kickoffs. Yeah. All right, so, again, looking ahead at the, the season, uh, first game is September the 1st against Valdosta State. Second game will be September the 8th against Tuskegee. That is the Whitewater Classic over in Phoenix City, Alabama. So we'll get back to that in a moment. Blue team, again, possession, and quarterback is Williams. Boy, wow. That's an awesome job of Deshaun Ross, or number, number 58, yeah. staying at home. He tried to do that little sprint draw yeah. and uh, – end around kind of situation and he stayed right there on the quarterback and ate it up. He'll be a sophomore this year. Had a sack last year and three and a half tackles for loss. That's a big play there. Loss of about five yards. Uh we we'll call it a four yard loss. It'll be second down, call it fourteen for the blue team offense. Going from left to right. And of course today's broadcast on YouTube live today. And again, if you're out there watching and you're using social social <laughs> social media if I can say it uh, quick toss out there in the flat, nowhere to go. Again, same guy. Yeah. Uh, on defense, field. Ross, another big play and another loss. If you're using social media, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, or what have you, use the hashtag all for asu If you use that on social media, we have a chance to put that on our YouTube broadcast. So uh, if you have something nice to say about it, <laughs> uh, we, we, yeah, we invite you to do that. So, again, social media, and the hashtag is all for, and the number four, ASU, all for ASU. Put that on, on there, and uh, hopefully we'll put some uh, good comments out there. It'll be third down and forever to go here. They get backed up. Williams, uh, upcoming sophomore, and Ross are doing a good job on back-to-back -back plays there. Playing sideline to yeah. sideline. This kid yeah. all over the field. Yep. So, big possession play, a lot of yards to go. Rams with three receivers. Backed up, back near the 10-yard line. We call it the 12. Here's a snap. Back to pass. Williams looks left, waits, throws it to the far side of the field, and it's caught. What a catch. It'll be a first down right at about the 40-yard line, and that was a nice pass over the top, little corner route, and uh, caught. 91. Yeah, that is maybe. 81. It, is that 81? That is number Chris Hunt. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice catch. Yeah, a tight end with a big, big catch there. And uh, doing a great job and a big first down to get us out the hole here. So, daylight for Albany State blue team offense. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm a tight end guy. I love to get that ball to that tight end because they don't ne- usually cover that guy. Yeah, Chris then, was a good one. He had yeah. the, uh, seven catches on a couple of touchdowns last year. Rams, three receivers to the right. They're going to hand off on a little jet sweep, and Wooten not able to get the corner. Number one. And that, well, that's Leroy there. That Leroy? Yeah, first time. Antonio Leroy Jr. Yeah. Transfer from Presbyterian College. <laughs> able to nail Wooten there and not allow him to get around that corner. Yeah, he came up too. And. What we got? I don't know. Uh, cannot tell. There's a. Yeah, let's hope it's not an injury. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing. You mentioned you want to get a good look at you guys and see what you got you. But you want to get out of here healthy. You don't want anybody going into the offseason. But any kind of restrictions, you want you guys to come in in good shape in uh, in the fall from having the, the ability to work out all spring and He's summer. talking to the officials. I guess that's one of the clinicians there. He was talking to the officials. Okay, discussion <laughs> there. A couple of new coaches, too, uh, on the, the Rams coaching staff. Travian Robertson, assistant coach, uh, the <coughs> defensive line, and Denaris Waits, he's assistant coach, co-defensive coordinator, coaching safety. So two new coaches. Of course, we had three leave over yeah. the uh, the off season. Uh, Ukwu, uh, Coach uh, Isaac Newland Isaac, and of course we had uh, Coach Peoples, uh, uh, defensive coordinator. So new guys stepping in there. It'll be second down. It'll give them a couple of yards. So it'll be eight to go. Second down and eight for the blue team at the Ram, the blue forty-two yard line. What we'll call it. They're gonna put tight, uh, Hunt in motion to the left side. Reset him, Williams. And play action. Wants to pass. He sets up and under pressure, and they get him in the backfield. So, uh, again, a big stop in the backfield. He was trying to look deep. They had good coverage, though. Double coverage on, uh, I believe, that maybe Mike Green. Mm-hmm. Uh, but really didn't have anywhere to go with the ball and couldn't escape. And i tell you what, number 58, we mentioned this guy, Deshaun Rosser. He played a lot last year. Um, he actually had uh, played in eight games, had 21 tackles, a couple of sacks, a sack. But he looks like he's he's playing that position that Jarvis Singleton played last year, that defensive end place position where you kind of had a freedom to run sideline to sideline. Uh, he's usually out wide of the tackle, so he didn't have a lineman right in front of him. He's kind of has a little freedom to make some plays. And uh, let's let's keep eye on him. We need that. We're gonna need that player that can kind of run and control sideline to sideline like that. Third and twelve, and blue team. Whoa! Ooh. Couldn't hang on to it. Chris Hunt, the tight end. Aaron Davis with a little kiss there at the end of the play, but it's incomplete, and it'll be a fourth down situation. Blue team not able to keep it going. They'll have to punt it back to gold here. We have no score here at the 2018 spring game as uh, the blue and gold uh, do battle here. Now, that was Billy Cobb in. At, no, I'm sorry. No, that was, Billy, no Cobb yeah, is gone. He's gone. What am I thinking? Uh, who was that? That was still Williams in. Yeah, the Williams, yeah Williams. Yeah, he has to get that one up a little higher. That's a big tight end out there, and you don't want that guy having to slow down and reach down around his knees, ankles, uh, to uh, try to catch a ball. He had a shot at that one if he puts it up a little bit higher. That yeah, wasn't a good punt that time. Bolinas that time with the punt. Not not a good one. Uh, well, we're trying to weigh him out a little bit. We need to have a yeah. sustained wanna, drive a little bit. We want to see him try a PAT or a field goal. But yeah. He, yeah, he's been doing a lot of punting. And our gold team will get another possession coming up here. Uh, with the ASU Coliseum, we call it the Rams, Dan. And, of course, a pretty good crowd here. Good weather. Yeah. Nice and warm. And uh, that was a good thing to get these students out. So how do you get the students out? You shut down the dining hall. There you go. Feed them here at the stadium. There so you go. You live over here, you need to eat. You got to come to the stadium and get your food. Now, you're afraid you're trying to make it seem like cruelty or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's a, it's a good marketing scheme, we'll say, to get them over here. And we got a lot of stuff going in. on outside, yeah. too, Fred. Yeah, yeah. Free, we, we see they're getting T-shirt giveaway, all kind yeah. of things. And they're going to have a couple of activities at halftime, too, that will involve some students from the stand so I, that I understand. So. Did you see the trail over there? They have some virtual reality games. A lot uh-huh. of players, while they were up here, were in there doing it. So, a lot going on. We have a couple of fish. Like Norman said, it's three referees back there. So, like you said, maybe three crews here. Gold team, ball, and handoff to – to our running back is going to run for about five, maybe six yards at the 26-yard line. And we have to pick this jersey up here in – That's number 23. 23, 23. I believe. Yeah, I believe yeah. that is going to be 23. Uh, Tory Sapp okay. in the game at running back for Albany State. So, Sapp in there. Also back there, Calvin Lewis. Sapp and Lewis with uh, Chancellor Johnson, the quarterback. It'll be second and four at the goal, 26-yard line. And, again, they look over and get instructions here. Adam Miller – a uh, quarterback coach, Aunt Kelly, that tight end. You like tight end? He's still with us, tight yes, end sir. coach. Uh, coach Hollyfield, offensive line. And 
A wide receiver is Coach Lampkin. Option. We're going to run the option play, swing it near side, and Lewis is going to First down run it right. across the third. I think he has the first down. The pin's on the spot. It looks like he's right at the yard marker. He needed the 31, and, I, well, they spotted it. <laughs> I think that was a great job by Chancellor. What he, did, he pitched it early, and then he became a blocker. He actually picked off the first guy that probably would have tackled uh, his running back and gave him a little time. I thought he had the edge. He's a little short of the first down. It'll be third and in inches. Rams at the Albany State uh, blue, uh, gold team 31-yard line have to get that together. And they are lined up, ready to go. Here, double receivers. And, of course, we have uh, two backs in the back get, uh, backfield here as uh, we look forward again, running down, give you a, another rundown as we get a timeout on the field. And now – they say first down. Yeah. Well, this this is almost how it looks in the game sometimes, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Officials get a little workout. They 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 indicate that was a first it, down. It's spring. It's a spring <laughs> game for them too, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get it worked out. Gotta work the bugs out. Yeah. Homecoming this year is gonna be October the twentieth. So we got throw that. I know people. They say the hotel's already booked. Already. Already booked. Of course, as soon as that date is announced, some people go ahead of time and just start reserving rooms. But it is booked up. Uh, but either way, we, we're going to run through the remainder of that schedule. Got some long road trips this year. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. On the, <laughs> Norman just said three <laughs> home games, seven on the road. But seven, like uh, two of those are like eight-hour trips. Yeah. Long ones. We'll talk about that <laughs> as well. First and ten Rams. Johnson going to keep the ball, break a tackle, 35 and out of bounds. Shot of 40, around the 39-yard line. So, a good run by Chancellor Johnson. And about eight, maybe nine yards. Pins on the spot. And they yeah. will put him – well, pin, they'll put it at the 38-yard line. You no, know, last year when he was running, it looked like he was kind of shy a little bit when he hit the corner. Yeah, the he corner. was he was injured a lot. He yeah. uh, he tweaked that, yeah. his ankle or something, knee in yeah. that um, Tuskegee game, and he just never quite was the same after that. He got he played you know played hard all year. Yeah. But um, he he comes in healthy. He's a totally different guy. Tickets have gone on sale today as well too. So as well? uh, yeah, season tickets are available as of today. So uh, you can you should be able to get them online if you go to asugoldenrams.com. They got and, different uh, packages too. Yeah, different you? packages. We're gonna talk about that as well. Everything's gonna be outside of the quarterback club. Will be general admission. That's a big uh, change, kind of reverting back from last season. Handoff and uh, it's Lewis is gonna fight his way to about the forty yard line where he's stopped. It'll be another third and short. Uh, th this is really going to be a third and short coming up, a third down and one coming up at the 40. Now, now this is what you want to work on in the spring. What kind of thing are you going to happen here to get that keep the chains moving, Norm? Yeah, and, because we saw an awful lot last yeah. year. Third and one was a menace. For a, a nemesis, was it nemesis <laughs> yeah. or it was menacing. Either way you oh, look at it, look the at Rams it. weren't very good at converting on third and one. And, boy, this is this, this, that's something they're really going to have to work on. All right. It'll be third and one, and they ah. won't do it. Calvin Lewis, what a surge by that defense. They got – they submarined them. They came through under the bottom and just took out the offensive line. Elijah Brown was one of the key guys. About three of them came through, and Lewis had no chance. I mean, the push up the middle was tremendous uh, by that defensive line. And on the play before, we saw uh, Chancellor pull that thing out on the read option and take it around the corner. Uh, in my opinion, he probably should have pulled that one out. His running back had no chance on that play. All right, well – See the punting team again. While we do that, ticket prices this year, general admission now, if you just buy game for game, it's going to be $15 regular admission for each game except for homecoming. That's $20. And we have three home games this year uh, on September 15th versus West Georgia, on September 29th versus Miles and homecoming October 20th. Now, if you want to get season tickets, they're going to be $40 just for the tickets. Pay $10 more, $50, and you get season tickets with parking. So uh, you get parking for three games. That's a pretty good deal, including homecoming. Uh, Save it, you a few dollars. Yeah. Now, if you want to get, if you go into both classics, Phoenix City and Columbus, the Fountain City Classic, you can pay seventy-five dollars and you get tickets to all the home games plus those two uh, classics without parking. And then eighty-five dollars will get you all three home games, both classics and parking. We know at the home games. So uh, some good packages out there. Not that much with only three games, but uh, we, we're going to talk about these road trips in just a moment. Uh, first uh, long one is going to be coming up in at Lane College. We haven't been there in a while, Jackson, Ooh. Tennessee, but that's coming up. We move to, I believe, we're in the second quarter, and uh, Johnson right is going to hand off. We're going to run it across the th – well. Is that 28? Yeah, number 28 had that. Good job. 
so yeah, that was phrased again on the carry yeah, for about kick. five yards. I think we're still a minute and a few seconds in the first quarter for it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we did have a punt a moment ago. So, we do have the clock running. Now, there's no score, though, in, in this spring game. So, it'll be second down. We call it five to go. Goal team at their 32-yard line. And we wait for them to go here. Got uh, double receivers on the right side. We'll give it to our first back. And not a whole lot going on there. A tough yard. And uh, Dirty Blue doing a good job there. The, 41 the right there. Uh, Terry Compton, yeah. linebacker, in there to help make the stop. Yeah, Terry got some playing time last year. He did, did Played he? in eight games, had a total of 15 tackles and a fumble recovery. So, uh, he, he knows what it's like to be out there on this field. And then trying to secure a spot on that Dirty Blue defense. Okay, so let, going back to the schedule, uh, first two games on the road, of course, at Van Austin State, September 1st. Short road. September 8th, that's the, the Whitewater Classic. The first home game, September 15th, we're hosting West Georgia. 7 o'clock kickoff now. That wasn't a nice trip we had to Carrollton last year. West Georgia kind of poured it on us. Yes, they did. And that's going to be a big key game of all of them, a big and key, September 15th. It'll be Chancellor Johnson, boy, he fired a bullet there trying to hit Wooten. Wooden wanted a flag there, but he had Antonio Lira on top of him. Incomplete, and that's going to bring up another fourth down. So, first home game on the 15th. Then we go on the long road trip, September 22nd. We go to Lane College, Jackson, Tennessee. It's to be a 2, two o'clock kickoff there. We come back home on September 29th, hosting uh, Miles College at 7 o'clock. And then we're going to be on the road a few weeks. Uh, we go back, this time to North Carolina, to take on Catawba on October the 6th. Uh, on October 13th, we'll be at Morehouse. And it's going to be a night game at Morehouse at 6 o'clock. Then we come home for Albany State's homecoming October the 20th. Go on the road to Benedict. Take on Mike White and the Benedict Tigers October 27th. And then it's the Fountain City Classic on November 3rd in Columbus, Georgia versus Fort Valley. So uh, that is the season. You can look Read it up, it. Uh, get all the details, two. go to edgeforceramp.com. Yes, I'm coming. You? Well, it's, uh, I, I want the guy to turn around that's in the blue shirt. That's that's y'all right there. Yeah, I saw him outside. <laughs> you know, we, we were, I, I see the star see everywhere. <laughs> you see the star everywhere. See, look at his shirt, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fred, you mentioned that game up at uh, Carrollton against West Georgia. That was the Rams' worst loss last year. We just didn't look good at all at in that all. game. Uh, but, uh, you know, other than that game, the Rams – uh, lost three other games, but all of those were by eight points or less. So one score or less. The rounds were more or less in every game that they played last year. So real competitive football team just didn't get, you know, didn't get it done get it in a done. couple of games. Yeah. Yeah. That, I think the one that hurt the most of me was that Clark Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that just, wow. Just, just, just see that one go that way with something else. So, all right, blue team possession this time here. So Kalias Williams, now I believe we are in the second quarter. So Williams at quarterback, three receivers for the Rams. Going to hand off to his back, and, boy, he's fighting for Man, yards there. Hard. And, uh, again, that's number 23, I believe, right? and that Tory Sapp on the carry for Albany State. And uh, pretty good run there across the 40 to the 44-yard line. Yards. Yep, second and three. They reset quickly up at the line of scrimmage. And Williams, see if they go with a quick count here. Let them so, man in motion here to the near side. That's number 82, Jaron Lawson, resets on the left. And they look over to the near side to get last-minute instructions. That dirty blue got four men down. And, of course, uh, still a 3-4 a with the down linebacker. As, uh, boy, nowhere to go. Ooh. Dirty blue all on top of them. Ooh, six and or seven of them. Uh, they, those guys are nasty on this <laughs> side. I mean, that's their own teammate. <laughs> and they're, <laughs> they're riding pretty hard in there, so. That defensive line, that's what you want. You want those big – I call them big uglies. Down, you know, those guys that play with the handle. You don't, well, Fred, you know about that. Yeah. <laughs> those guys down there, those are the Trenches. ones – Those are the ones that I pay attention to. That's yeah. where you win and lose the game. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, definitely. Doing a good job. Uh, big play here now. Let, uh, inches again now. Less than two in the north yeah, three. About two yards. We we'll call it third yeah. and two at the 45-yard line. Williams going to throw it, and, boy, he held on to it. Now, that – that was a rocket with a man on top of you, able to hold on to it and pick up the first down inside goal territory at about the 47-yard line. So, look, quick slant, first and 10. They keep it moving. Yeah, that's number 82. Is that Jaron Lawson? I yeah, that, yeah, I think right. so. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And what's going to happen, we're going to need these, you know, guys that have to step up. You know yep. you have Mike Green. Kevian Harris, hopefully, I don't think he's playing today. No, but he, he should, he's not. Yeah, yeah, he should be back in the fall. But you're still going to need some other guys to step in there and play. So, and, of course, you still have a lot of recruits that won't be here until the summertime. And they'll blow the whistles that the quarterback is going to be, I think they'll spot him right around the line of scrimmage. So, no gain on the play. It was uh, just coverage right, on that one. That's good. Plenty of time Which to get rid right. of that one on. That's good coverage. H cross. Yeah. He Again, uh, talking about the Ram coaching staff uh, going through it. Sean Lampkin, wide receiver coach, Darius Buck. Coaches, uh, defensive backs, cornerbacks. Nick Rivez, uh, he is an assistant coach. Uh, he's a co-defensive co coordinator and coaches linebackers. And we have Marcus Murray, assistant coach. He's right, coaching running go. back. So, again, uh, that, that's the coaching staff. And, and Coach two. G is mic'd up today. So, okay. we, we, yeah, we may uh, see if we can get some words from him uh, on the sideline. He has a hot mic over there on the sideline. So, uh, we, we, we'll tune into him in just a moment see if we can pick up some of what's going on. So handoff by the Rams and a good surge. They keep the power moving. Third and uh, we will see. We're looking at another third down coming up. So that was a good surge going the right way for the offense this time. See if the goal rush can get something. We have no score here. We're in the second quarter. And uh, these teams are kind of fighting it out. Now, remember the old days? I don't know if they're, they're feeding them. Remember the old days? The, the winning team get a steak. Yeah. What? The other team get a hot dog or yeah. hamburger. They may have changed that. That was the, that was that was the, that was the last couple of coaching staff. So I don't know what the, the, the victory is today for the, the team that comes out on top. But either way, you you don't lose because it's still the Rams team. But yes, sir. But I think one team wants to shine over the other. Blue team possession here. Williams quarterback. They're gonna run it and it's, it's gonna be sad. Boy, what a burst. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he is running with determination. Get a first down. He'll fight his way down to the 30, maybe the 29-yard line first. Let's go. Let's go. Stallion. Stallion. Twix right. <clears throat> 124 countries. Ah, no, no. Hey. Put, his, put his head down and kept his knees moving. Went right on through there. The old school life. Yes, sir. I, I almost <laughs> said it. <laughs> Want to thank our crew here today, Eric Tabor. Tabor. I'm sure his son, Eric Tabor Jr., is here, and we have mass communication students here uh, doing camera work and <sighs> other production behind the scenes. So uh, they always do a great job. And of course, uh, Co uh, Eric's been rotating them in and out. We had some that graduated work with us last year, but we have a new crew working with us now. So uh, they do a fantastic job, and especially with today's broadcast. Yeah, it was a good job. 93. Yeah, and Devontae Jackson uh, came through there. Deontay, excuse me. Uh, came through yeah. there and he didn't, he didn't fall for the fake. No, Stayed right on top of the quarterback and that would that would go down as another sack for that dirty blue defense. He's a new transfer. Came in from Georgia Military Co College, and uh, one of those new guys that we brought in so far in, uh, is five transfers that came in during the spring that are here. Okay. Uh, Leroy Malachi Brown, both from Presbyterian. Uh, Raekwon, and we'll get this play in. Williams rolls right and Ooh. boy threw that one in the dirt, incomplete. Uh, so we have Raycon, Bethia, Deontay Jackson, Norman just mentioned, and Tyler Scott is one that came in from Carson Newman. So the rest of these, the rest of the recruits, of course, come in over the summer and you know uh, going to fall. Another guy we won't see at quarterback, and he missed all the last season, Stephon Mashaw. Okay. But he should be back in the fall. He tore his pectoral muscle on last year, and of course he's a graduate student, and you know uh, they, they really just have to make sure. I think he's healthy enough to go. But then there's some stipulations with it, you know, with him, with that last season because he had to, I believe, get a medical red shirt. But I think he'll be competing as well. So we may have five plus quarterbacks in camp, Ooh. and this is gonna be a sack here. Nowhere to go. Williams with four blue jerseys around him, dirty blue defenders. Two. Hey, two oh. field goal. Two field goal. And the thing about that, they, it stays square. Nick. Nick, two field goal. I want you out. I want uh, Mike Green. Mike Green. Offensive line. You you got to do the offensive line. Got to move the ball. And this is going to be, is this a field goal attempt coming up? Yeah. Yeah, we're going for a field goal. So, Bellinas, I believe, was 9 for 12 last year. Field goals. This is going to be a long one here. They're going to spot this down at the, what, 38, 48-yard field goal from the left angle. This is long from last year, I believe. So, Bolinas uh, trying to nail a long one. Sophomore coming up out of Mexico, and 
Did he make it? Shit. Just barely. 48-yard field wow. goal is good. So, Bolinas has uh, put the blue team up. That's his range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually is long. I said it was 48. He actually had a 49-yarder, okay. which was as long as one last year. 48 and that was That was right, right here against North Greenville. So, good, good kick. Three nothing blue team with the score ah. on it. You know, I thought that field goal was short, man. I tell you, I, I, I mentioned before that I don't like this prescription in my glasses. I really, <laughs> before before the beginning of the season, I really got to get these things checked out. All right. While we have a moment, let's see if we can catch a little uh, Coach G's discussion on the sideline with his team after after that possession. So we're gonna tune in and see if we can pick up Coach G, who's mic'd up. Okay. I want to go stallion. I want the ball on this forty. I want to go 60 yards. All right, we're going to go stallion. We're going to go twix right, H cross. We're going to peek it. Well, I'll get you in the best play. Okay? All right, let's go. Stallion, twix right, H cross. All right, we're going to peek it. Darren, he says he's going to get you in the best play. Yeah. So that's what the Rams do. They send out the formation. They had a personnel on the field. And then the, everybody looks up um, right before the snap of the ball. Coach G get his, gives his guys the uh, hand signals, and, and, and they, they go with the play from there. So we're ready to go here. Goal team possession here. The goal 40-yard line, 533 to go. We're in the second quarter here, 2018 Blue and Gold Spring Game at the ASU Coliseum. Fred Suttles with Norman Newton and Jesse Massey. Three receivers for the Rams. Chancellor Johnson, the quarterback, and he is going to run the option break through there. They, they blow him dead. Yeah. He wouldn't have broke through there on a regular play. <laughs> he <wouldn't. laughs> so you're saying they held up? I I, I'm pretty sure they held up. That was uh, uh, Charmaine White, and I think the other guy was number six. I'm not sure. I think that might have been Aaron Davis over there on the defense. And, yeah, Fred, I don't think he would have <laughs> broke through that. If that would have been a regular play, we would our quarterback would have been dropped for <laughs> at least four yards. But on the other hand, our defense would have had a four-yard loss on us. So. So we'll take it either way. Second and 11. Yeah, we'll say a loss at the 39-yard line. Second down, 11 to go. Gold team, 3 nothing. Uh, blue team on top. And Johnson, play action, throw near side. Wooten midfield and out of bounds. So nice little rocket pass near side, able to complete it, and that's going to move the chain gang down to the blue 47-yard line. You can tell he's got a good arm. He hit that thing on the, on the line right there, and that guy had – room to run up the sideline. Yeah, Javion played in eight games last year, had three catches for 26 yards. Javion Wooten, yeah. uh, he's looking to, like you say, Fred, get more involved in the deep in the offense. Uh, everybody out there has equal chance to gain, get some playing time. Mike Green, wide receiver in the game, two-sport guy, of course, basketball and football. He's a receiver on the left out there, got double receivers stacked to the right. And the Rams ready to go here at the blue 47. Boy, they run into each other, have a sham on the carry, and he'll fight down to about the 42, get him close to five yards on the carry. Had to break a tackle, got by, but uh, have a sham, of course, one of those guys can make, uh, have a great game. Remember that game at Miles last year? Mm -hmm. I think he had about 180, 185 yards yep. rushing. Uh, of course, a career day for Workhorse. him that day. Yeah, he was running that thing, and he's a guy that can he can bring it. It'll be second down. We'll call it about four to go. Six yards on the last play at the 41-yard line. 316 and ticking. We're in the second quarter here. And uh, they may need to fire up the lights because the sun's going down. down. The sun's going down, and uh, hopefully they'll get those lights on shortly. Uh, we're going four quarters. The fourth quarter will be a running clock here. Fly. Throwing it deep and almost Michael Green making a catch. A Boy. low, uh, that was kind of low trajectory, but almost, job, right almost a, a chance to catch. He had double coverage down there. Two guys and Mike Green almost caught it. Almost came up with it, but boy, that was excellent safety play by number thirty-nine, Dequan Chapman, came over to break that up right at the end, and that's what you want your safety to do. If he's out there playing that deep center field, come over, and he didn't take a shot on the receiver. I don't know if that's just because it was his teammate or not, yeah. but he played the ball beautifully on that and, and tapped the ball away right at the last second. Uh, would have been a great catch. Uh, next weekend. Oh, um, man. I'm, I'm yeah. glad you're going to say it. Yeah. SIAC Track and Field Championships hosted by the city of Albany and, of course, Albany State University. Coach Ken Taylor has been working really hard to get ready. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next weekend, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Uh-huh. 
track and field, pass complete, and first down, and finally they bring him down inside the 35-yard line. Is that 82 made the catch? That's Lawson, right. I yeah. believe. Jaron Lawson. But but we invite you to come out. Are you are you helping out this year? I'm the gun, man. The gun. What is all you do now? The gun. <laughs> I'm the gun. You're going to fire the gun? And the triple jump. I, yeah. I, I do the jumps. Right. And, but and, but that's a big thing. I think that we're going to be at Hugh Mill Stadium yes. and on campus. Yes. And all the, con- the, cross- the, the conference teams will be here. Yes, they will. That's big for the city. That's big, man. They got to stay at least two days. And I can give a shout out to Coach Lewis Smith. He's he's the backup starter. Both of those intangibles there. Yeah, that's that, that's a great thing. We look forward to the next weekend, and we hosted it last year. The Rams men won it. We'll see if men and women can win it. What's so, my man? Uh oh. Johnson wants to throw it, man. Open out of the I think the back maybe slipped out of the backfield. It's gonna be a first down though. Again, boy, they they lost contain there. It took a little time to develop, and I believe see who that was caught the ball. It may not have been. It may be number guess. eighty. Yeah, number eight, I think, is Corey Turner. Uh, right there. Yeah, made the catch coming out of the game and going to get a timeout, but it is going to be a first down. And, and let's give our young man that, that won those national championships. What's his name? Cervantes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah guy, Cervantes Jackson. Yeah, yes. That's a horse there. That's yeah. what you call a horse in track and, and field. I don't know where he is now, but earlier on in the year, he had the, the, the longest jump, long jump uh-huh. in the nation. nation. And I'm talking about all divisions. Uh, he was, wow. Yeah, it was over 20, <laughs> over 25 feet. That's out there. But I don't know exactly if that's still standing, but that's okay. still something. I'm talking about all divisions. Yeah. That, that's, that's your SEC schools, ACC, everybody. Yeah. He had the longest jump, and he is that kind of and talent. he will be there. Yeah. But he's doing and we have some other uh, performers doing a great job. So we and we need your support, and uh, hopefully we can bring home two two trophies, uh, get two first-place wins. But uh, great to be hosting that next weekend. We also have some other spring sports going mm-hmm. on. We're going to talk about yeah. softball, baseball, it. Got, Softball got a game games yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow against Payne. Yeah. And that's going to be Youth and Senior Day at 1 o'clock. Doubleheader? West Campus. And it's just showing a 1 o'clock. One o'clock. I, yeah. yeah. I'm only showing one game. Okay. So that's tomorrow. So Coach Barker doing a great job, and he, she's getting those ladies ready for the tournament. And they only have a couple of home games left. Uh, they Tomorrow and then on Wednesday against Auburn University uh, out of Montgomery. And that's going to be 3 o'clock on Wednesday. Baseball. With and, 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 Fred, we fed everybody out there at the, the Claflin game. That guy right there, myself and Johnson, and my, the men of Omega Sarfar. Y'all did it. Yes, sir. You fed both teams, too, didn't yes, you? Yes, sir. Yeah. And the fans. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great job. Yes, sir. You're always doing a great job. So We uh, got it. Yeah, baseball, uh, Coach Scott Hemmings, of course, they're doing a great – they have yes, some, some home games coming up on Tuesday against Georgia College. Friday, they play Payne College, Alumni Night, Community Night. Senior Night is on April the 21st. That's next Saturday. And then, of course, uh, tournaments uh, for both of those coming up in a couple of weeks. So about two weeks away for the softball-baseball tournament. Second down, about 13. Johnson, play action, throw it near side. That's going to be Wooten. Ooh. Javon Wooten and taking down that number there. that's uh, Bush number thirteen. Yes, uh, Jalen Bush third. He had three interceptions last year. Five passes defended, and uh, I saw him just twice today. Okay, I asked him was he going to get interceptions. He didn't go ahead and say it, but you know he he's, he, he wants to play well, and he of course doing a great job. So Jalen nice tackle that he made it, this then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nowhere to go. It'll be third down. We'll call it about twelve to go here as the goal team. Got to get this first down. Yeah, ball resting at about the blue 23 yard line. So we might see another field goal attempt come in if they cannot advance it or pick up the first down marker here. Three receivers lined up for the Rams. And timeout. did we get a timeout? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can peek in again and listen. Uh, we got a timeout. I want to hear what Coach see if we can see what Coach Gabe Gardena is talking about over there. Stir up. Uh, while we have a break, of course, uh, we invite you to go ahead and get your season tickets. You can go online to ASUGoldenRams.com. You can call the office. if You you know, some people just like to call and talk, 229-430-4754. <laughs> but you can just buy everything online now, ASUGoldenRams.com. Get all the information about all sports at ASU. So, again, uh, we've been doing a good job. We want to uh, thank them. We also want to thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast on YouTube, uh, the ASU Golden Rams channel. So you you should subscribe because there are some events and going to be continue to be events. 
And of course, we in the fall, I'm sure we'll be streaming games as well. Not in their, I don't think they'll be YouTube, but either way, uh, they do a great job, and uh, we we encourage you to support. Now, if you're out there on social media, use the hashtag today: All for ASU. That's A L L the number four, then ASU all together, and hopefully we put some good comments on out there. So after the timeout, we're ready to go here. Tight end in motion to the left side. Johnson back to pass here on third and long. Looks over the middle. It's going to step up, run it. And, they, wow, they blew him dead. Wow. Now, that probably wouldn't have <laughs> been a sack. He would have stepped through that and kept running. <laughs> now, Norman, in the game, they would have tackled. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> in there with <laughs> now, if it's two guys within three inches of you, I'm sure they're going to attack him. But that time, he stepped through yeah, a hole lane, three yeah, feet lane. wide. Yeah, so, lane, so uh, yeah, I think he probably would have stepped through that and picked up the first down. All right. Well, here, here's Bolinos again, a chance to tie the game up. This for it. Yeah, well, a little bit shorter. This is going to be he's standing at the 35. So, Mike Green does the holding. Again, Bolinos, uh, left-footed kicker. He's trying to nail. This will be a 45-yarder. So, long-distance kicks coming up here. And, of course, uh, kicking it from a slightly that left angle here. No wind. I cannot tell. Don't like the flag is barely blowing. So, not much wind. We await the snap. High one. Green gets it down. This is going to be. I don't know if it's going to. Oh. Did it make it? No. Okay, no good. So, yeah, barely. Kind of ran out of gas there. No good. So, it's still a 3 nothing. We call it a blue team on top of the gold team. team. We have 57 seconds left in the second quarter, and we're going to have a 10-minute intermission uh, coming up. So uh, we're going to break away, and then we're going to have third quarter coming back momentarily. So uh, we we going to – and then we'll come back. It'll be a full third quarter, uh -huh. and then the fourth quarter, a 12-minute mm -hmm. running clock, and and then we'll wrap it up. So it's the spring game, and uh, we, we have some alums and doing a great job, and they've, they've been raising money, mm -hmm. and their goal was to, to give uh, – Five thousand dollars. I don't know how high they were, but they were getting close as of yesterday, and uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, former Ram Adrian Fitz is on the committee. I think he's the chair of the committee. Okay. Uh, Mark Lyles and it, it's, it's a few other people out there, and, and of course their their ideas to support Golden Rams, Rams football and of course Albany State athletics in general. And uh, they 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 say they wanted to, to give them. And I'm sure they're gonna to come up with a presentation, but they really just getting together within the last maybe couple of months, uh -huh. and they're looking to do some great things. Yeah, and that shows you the power they what they can do when they get together. Because you mentioned five thousand dollars. I think the last time I looked at it, it was over thirty seven thirty thirty seven thirty eight hundred. Yeah. And I think in two that days, was that was a, and that was yeah. only they only started a couple of days ago. Yeah. Okay. Rams yeah. have a lot lot of people out there willing to support them all. And no matter what the dollar amount is, dollar two dollar right. five dollar seven whatever. Right. It's just about getting the word out there and letting yeah. people know what you need and you know how to get it together and get it to the school where it can do some good. Exactly. So. That is a big thing. Again, I'm great. So the, the student athlete really needs our support, no matter what, women or men. So now someone heard me. The lights, they, I see they're coming on on this side. Maybe it just takes a little delay to the other side. So, uh, of course, we're only using the home side today here during the uh, spring game, and it'll be – Colias Williams, blue team quarterback, ready to go at the 40-yard line. Wow. Throw it, man. Caught. It's Mike Green, and they'll tackle him inside the 50 at about the 47-yard line. So, Dang. able to – nice little delivery. It'll be a first down clock moving, 52 seconds to go here. So, we'll see if they can get downfield here quickly here. Double receivers, both sides, no huddle. Williams surveys the defense. Dirty blue want to try and dig in and stop him here. Back to pass here. Looks so uh, – they blow that dead Boy, quick. Yeah, they're going to say that would have been a sack up there. Uh, looks like number 40 for the Rams. Charmaine White again getting in there. Uh, again, that offensive line just not playing very well consistently. I mean, they have some plays here and there. But that defense, they're getting in, into that quarterback pretty good. And, and, and Norm, on that offensive line, you can't rest the play. Yeah. You, you just can't. You got to go after. You got to get after them. Yeah, no matter what happens, you got to continue to block it. Yeah, I remember uh, asking a question in the quarterback club about, you know, resting the uh, offensive linemen and, you know, getting them, getting them a, a blow every once in a while. No, I was told, no, 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 no. <laughs> Our guys just have to come in shape because when they get in the game, they're playing the entire game, you know. So you, that's what you want. You want those big guys up front to build that cohesiveness together. It's the trenches, and yeah, baby. Yeah, and just, just be a solid unit that can stay out there the entire game, like you said, and not take a playoff. Fred, what was the Washington Redskins, what they used to call them? The Hogs. The Hogs. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to ask I got that. I remember that. I'm old Cowboys, man. I hated the Hogs. The Hogs. They yeah. didn't root you out. Yeah, I hated the Hogs. 34 seconds to go hit a halftime. So it's 3 nothing. blue team on top. 
Had a timeout. Ball resting. It'll be, is it second down? I can't quite see the marker here at the 47-yard line. Three receivers on the left, one to the right. Williams That's back to pass. Right. He's going to throw it over the top. Intercepted. Aaron Davis, 30, and they won't. They'll blow it dead. So the blue team stops them. Dirty blue defense. Uh, That's a good job. Dirty blue stops them. So that blue and dirty blue. <laughs> 27 <laughs> seconds to go here, and the clock ticking down here. I also mentioned, I didn't mention tailgating. Uh, they're working on tailgating. They're going to make a release. Uh, and uh, one thing I did, I, I briefly talked about all seats outside of the quarterback club be general admission, so there won't be reserved seating. So you, you get a ticket, you can sit pretty sit much where wherever you want. you want to sit, yeah. except for quarterback club. That's going to be, of course, different. And then tailgating information to come out okay. shortly. So uh, they're going to release that information, and there won't be any, you know, that's going to be – but they're going to give an opportunity – uh, for those to get those good locations. That's coming up, so they'll make a release, and they'll tell you when the, you can start getting your tailgating spots signed up. Only three home games, again, on September 15th, the 29th, and can homecoming October the 20th. So I believe the clock is going to tick us down into halftime, and if I'm right, it's still what, 3 nothing. 3 nothing. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, so – so three nothing, and but we got a conference of what about twenty officials? Yeah, that's and clinicians and they. they yeah, they have. Then they have a couple of things at halftime. I think they're gonna do a couple of giveaways. I think uh, opportunities for students and others to get out there and I don't know if they'll be throwing, kicking, uh, uh, doing an activity, but uh, a good showing of students uh, here as well. So we are about to go into our halftime here. So. Uh, Let's kind of wrap it up. We're going to take a, a break, and then we're going to come back into the third quarter. So, Guy, what do you think so far with it being 3 nothing? I know this is spring. It's not a game, but you're still trying to look and see what's going on. What's your assessment, Coach? To me, as a coach and a former coach, you're looking for timing. You're looking for people that can make special plays, that intercession special play, you know, you know, getting tough yardage and down in distance. I, I, that's my pet peeve. If it's third and two, you got to make that. Yeah, yeah, you got to make that known. Yeah, I was like, you know, I just saw flashes. Yeah. I saw the defense yeah. make some – defensive linemen make some good plays. Saw the offense open up a, a couple, couple of holes. Couple of holes. Saw a couple of good runs by the quarterback. So, just flashes here and there. And that's that's kind of what you expect to see in a game like this. Everybody showing out a little bit and nobody really just dominating because these guys, before they've had probably about a week, two weeks of practice together so far uh -huh. now. Is that, that about right? So, uh, you know, they pretty much know each other. This is all players pretty much from last year except for a few – uh, transfer, so uh, we'll see what happens. I, I just want to see a, a sustained drive, you know, three or four first downs in a row. All right. <laughs> 2018 Blue and Gold Spring Game here at the ASU Coliseum. Blue team three, gold team nothing. We're going to step away, and uh, we're going to get back to picking it up uh, as they crank into the third quarter in about eight minutes or so. So uh, we'll be back, and uh, we'll continue our broadcast in just a moment. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. 
Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com.
players stand up and do that. That's a great thing. And, of course, our athletic director, Sheree Gordon, of course, thanked everyone for coming out. And, and, and reminding everyone, you can go ahead and buy tickets. Go to ASUGoldenRams.com. 2018 system season, I'm sorry, starts on September 1st. Home games on the 15th of September, the 29th of September, and homecoming, of course, October 20th. You can see the full schedule on the ASU website. So 3 nothing blue team with the lead. And, of course, uh, scoring today, uh, whichever quarterback, uh, we have two blue team quarterbacks and then two gold team quarterbacks. Whichever one is in possession and the team scores, then – that, that that's how the scoring goes. So uh, they're both <laughs> of them. Play, well, they're playing with the same players. <laughs> so right. it's really the quarterbacks. Really, they're the ones competing. <laughs> that's exactly right. We we keep it score on the quarterbacks. Right. And, and what the only the only confusing thing to me so far is that the blue team quarterback is dressed in a white jersey. So I'm 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 wanting to associate him with the blue defense since the defense is dressed out in blue. But the blue team's quarterback is in the white jersey. And the blue team is actually taking the field first. It looks like so. That's going to be number eight out there. Kalias, is the Kalias Williams still going to be quarterbacking? Yeah, so far. We have yet to see uh, number seven, Dylan Bowley. Uh, he's also a blue team quarterback. And then the other gold team quarterback is number five, Rounds Lusson. Those are two. They're new to the team this year. And uh, at least one of them I know is a walk-on, uh, Lusson. They call him Louis Lusson. So, uh, Lusson out of Florida. He's around from around Delray Beach, Florida. Went to Village Academy High School. And... Dylan Bowl is from Randolph County, Cuthbert. Yep. Okay, so we're starting out now on the 40 yard line. Looks like Fred and like Master like to say, here we go. All right, third quarter underway here. Blue team with the lead, and the blue team quarterback still leading them. Kalias Williams resets a man here. High snap over the head, and he is going to be sacked. And, well, we started on homecoming one year. <laughs> First play. Uh, and I don't know if you remember that game. Uh, quarterback. Uh, the guy that went to Auburn, I can't even remember his name now. They snapped the ball yep. to the one-yard line. And to start the third quarter, uh, we're going to lose it. It'll be a loss all the way back to about the 25-yard line. So that's a 15-yard loss. It'll be second and 25 here. Boy, they're behind the sticks now. Let's see what this blue team comes out with. Probably look for something. It's, it's a spring game, so, you you know, if you're going to take – it's not taking a chance. It's just trying to convert the first down. I look for him to come out in a strong pass right here. Dirty blue defense uh, with a big loss there. Well, actually, you can – that was really on the snap the last play. Second and 25, they dig in, and wow. Williams going to hand the ball off. And pretty decent running room for Habersham here. And he will run it out to the 35-yard line. Habersham, of course, uh, he should be a rising junior. He's from Savannah, Georgia. Had a, a great season, but he held under 1,000 yards, but had 850 yards. And they're about – 10 yards on the run. That'll make it a third and 15 coming up for Albany State uh, blue team. Yeah, they crossed me and that dirty blue defense up with that one. It was uh, second and 25. You definitely think the team is going to pass. They come with a little run, a little almost a semi-draw type of a play, and I uh, pick up 10 yards on it. Double receivers to the right. One man split wide left. It'll be third and 15. Williams, sophomore, coming up out of Thomasville. Back to pass on third and long. Going to throw over the middle deep. Caught. Mike Green, first down. And, boy, now that, he's got some soft hands. They were able to catch that thing, and they tackle him at about the 43-yard line. And now that's uh, a lot of nerve by your quarterback throwing that thing. Oh, that was almost triple coverage. And, boy, you, you, you wonder how much of that was the defensive backs not wanting to really hit their teammate and how much of it was him just making a great catch. But, nonetheless, on the money, great catch, great throw. And, boy, the Rams' uh, blue team convert out of a – Second and 25. Uh, Mike a Green. Big pass on is, third is he, down. Is Mike Green six feet? If he is, he barely six yeah. feet. But he can out jump everybody. And you kind of had that confidence. When you throw the ball his way, he can go get it. And he showed you that time. It'll be first down at the 43 yard line. Back to pass. Williams looks both ways. Steps up. Going to take off. And they blow him dead at the 40 yard line. It'll be a guy, about three yards on the play. It'll be second and seven coming up here. You know what we, I like then? We had pass protection. He had a chance to look downfield. Mm -hmm. Even though he's kind of short, he had a chance. And then he north and south. Yeah. That, that, that's a good thing. We, that's two plays in a row that I've seen the offensive line work hard and get after him a little bit. Fred Suttles, Norman Newton, and Jesse Massey with your YouTube broadcast, the Albany State spring game here, getting ready for 2018. Of course, if you're out there on social media, uh, give us a post. Then uh, make sure you hashtag it all for ASU. It'll be second and seven. 
blue team leading it three nothing. Wooten is going to reset to the left side. Williams ready to go here. Two backs. He play action wants to pass, boy. And they, ah. they jam him up there, boy. Number 54 had good pressure, able to run. <laughs> That's Torian Bell, able yeah. to just push his defender back. Last year he had three sacks and three-and-a-half tackles for loss, and he just played with that offensive lineman that time and backed him up into the quarterback. Well, this is really wetting my appetite to see what the rounds are going to look like in the fall. Uh, how long has it been since we saw some real football, guys? I mean, you know. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, Fred, it's, how, it's, it, 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 we coming off a hangover. Yeah, you know how, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. How about a guy, the, the coach? Is he still hanging in with the coach? Oh, uh, Grover. Yeah, Stewart. Grover. Yeah. To be honest, I hadn't really been following yeah. – Lately, I hadn't really okay. been following what's going on with that. So yeah, yeah. He was still on the roster at He's the end of the year. Yeah, okay. At the end of last year, I believe. Yeah, Grover Stewart, Camilla Georgia Pride. There, it'll be third down, and we will call it twelve to go. Williams alignment stands there in that pistol formation here. Ooh. Three receivers, and clock moving. Ten forty-eight, third quarter action here. Awaiting this snap here. Uh, how boy again? Over the head, quarterback tries to regroup and they're gonna touch him dead again, boy. I don't know, got a, I don't know who's at center there, but Terry Compton gonna get credit for the tackle for loss, but that really is on the snap. So there's no excuses for that. Yeah, yeah. Coach Hollifield's yeah. not gonna like that. And you no. know what, Coach? When I asked Coach G, he said if something goes wrong, blame it on Coach Hollifield. And I know Hollifield's gonna be all over his center okay. there. <laughs> So it'll be a fourth down punting situation doing a long snap in a shot. Jackson tight end and Bellinos, of course, punts. And uh, he's one for two on field goals today. And nice punt that time. Yeah. It's caught inside the 20 at about the 18 yard line. So it'll be a change of possession coming up here. 9.55, clock moving. Again, uh, first game of the year, September 1st, is a road game at Valdosta State. 7 o'clock night game. And. The Whitewater Classic against Tuskegee. So, again, quality opponents to start the season. You got Gulf South team in Valdosta State, Tuskegee, yeah. perennial powerhouse in the SIC. So, those are always tough games. West Georgia, very tough. another Gulf South team. We go to Lane, and then, of course, Miles, Catawba. They, you know, yeah. we've only played Catawba once. Remember, we went up there, playoff, yeah, your first year. Yep. And they toasted us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So not you know that was a long that was ten years ago, ten eleven years ago. But you know that they generally going to be a fundamentally sound good football team. What conference is that for it? South Atlantic. South Atlantic. And Lane, the last time we went up there, I think we lost that game. That was about what about eight years ago, maybe. Rennie, the quarterback. Yeah. I remember that day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you can't count. Oh, it, you fun. can't count anybody out in this conference. And then when you get into the conference schedule, improving teams, Morehouse. Uh, you know, they, they, they play us tough. Clark Atlanta, we owe them from last year. So, uh, I don't think they have the same quarterback. But still, uh, these guys remember that. Benedict beat us. Uh, yeah. Coach White, they, they got the V. We got to go to them this year up there in Columbia. And then Fort Valley, you just throw everything out. You never know when you play that game. So, uh, a really good schedule, tough schedule. The Rams can, you know, have some success uh, uh, with some big wins. Uh, you know, maybe we'll see. But it'll be nice to be playing for a championship. Now, this year, the West team – championship be hosting, hosting the it. championship game last year it was fort valley hosting and next year to be whoever wins the west will host okay. pass complete oh, here that's a nice running right there now far side of the field and yeah. uh can't quite pick up the receiver but that is going to be good enough for a first down i believe yeah, they'll that. move the chains and number 88 for 88 yes sir they cut him didn't they it, that's that <laughs> <ball. laughs> so you See, Coach Matt said that's that's where that cowboy thing come in. Dez Bryant. Hey, they got, got it. Dez Bryant got released today. Oh, I'm sorry. Dallas Cowboy. I didn't know that. Yes. But for the Rams, that's Malik Gary. He's a wide receiver. So got, yeah, Gary is the guy that for all but it's I just had to get it in there. Oh, you you did. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be third down and about two coming up for the gold team. Chancellor Johnson at quarterback for the Rams. Last year, Johnson, of course, it, uh, he was the leading passer, 1,264 passing yards, had 10 touchdowns and four interceptions, 57% completion rate, and he also rushed for 264 yards and four touchdowns. So third down, a long two, back to pass. Johnson looks near side mm -hmm. and kind of telegraphed that. He was looking that way the whole while. Man was covered. Tried to get it to number 89, Colson Jean, but number 14 was on top of him, Femi Mays, and uh, he really wasn't open. It'll be fourth down, and... Uh, again, Bellinas is getting the workout. He's going to have to come out there again and punt. Yeah. 
And what I really liked about Johnson's game last year, he threw 10 touchdowns, only four interceptions. Uh, most of the time, most uh, people will tell you, most guys in the game will tell you, if you have a 2-to-1 inter touchdown interception ratio, that's pretty good. And he had a 2.5-to-1. So uh, not bad. He did a good job of protecting the ball. Did a good job of running the ball. Like I said, he just stayed a little hurt last year. And and I, I agree with you, Matt. I think this is still his job to lose. Mm -hmm. And I think the guy that was that had it last year, he was kind of hurt, never did play. He's he's not out here today, but um, what was his name again? Stephon Mashaw. Yeah, he's yeah, a I, transfer from uh, Liberty University. He actually graduated from Liberty. Yeah, depending on Mashaw's situation now, that's going to be interesting if he comes back because he was supposed to have a range last year. And then you, and then Chancellor, uh, excuse me, not Chancellor, um, Kalias Williams, who had that just an awesome game to me against Fort Valley, he's going to be in the mix. So the Rams are really good, good looking good at the quarterback situation. You like that mix, don't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I believe no matter who you have starting, you got somebody on the bench that can come in and get the job done. No, Norman, you know I, I had to do it. Two to one ratio. I'm just asking. Yeah, he has. I'm, I'm, is that considered pretty good? Yeah, that's pretty good. So if I throw twenty touchdowns, ten interceptions, okay. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, that's that's not a bad ratio. Okay. I just asked. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you you are all pro if you you know get up get above that, those numbers. I can't do that with smile. <laughs> Five twenty-eight. We're in the third quarter here at the Blue and Gold Spring Game here at the ASU Coliseum, and of course we're looking forward to the season. Uh, we, we, you know, just spring training for us as well. Uh, yes. But I want to thank our crew. It got have the broadcast looking extremely, extremely uh, good there as uh, the offense is set up. But Kalias Williams, we yet to see. Of course, the other couple quarterbacks may. We still got one quarter. Uh, fourth quarter coming up will be a running clock of twelve minutes. And uh, we'll be winding things down shortly. Don't forget, next weekend, if you're listening right now, we're hosting SIAC oh, look at Track that. and Field Championships in the city of Albany and uh, using Hugh Mills Stadium and the West, I'm sorry, the East Campus, the track down on the East Campus. So uh, Coach Ken Taylor and all the volunteers, we want to thank them for all their, their support. So Williams ran that thing, and but he, I don't think they, they say he got no gain out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. This kid here, Bell, Torian, Torian Bell. Oh my God, he stuffed. What, what did he do? He he got the quarterback. He, he turned loose the quarterback and started running. They brought it back, but he stuffed the running back and the quarterback. And Torian Bell, of course, yeah. uh, he's been part of that dirty blue. They have him down there. He's really playing right there over the center in that kind of that nose guard type position, and uh, digging in, doing a good job for the dirty blue defense. Got. Got co-defensive coordinators this year, uh, Coach Waits and, of course, Coach Rivez coaching that defense out there. Second and 10, still at the 43. Blue team ready to go. Williams, play action. Back to pass. Boy, under pressure. Did he get away? Yeah. No. That's going to be Rosser again, uh, the first guy to get there. And, boy, he's having a heck of a game. Deshaun Rosser, uh, Norman talked about him. And uh, Rosser out of Grantville, Georgia. Uh, looking to have a good season coming up. Okay, Fred, since y'all was trying to call me out with my stats, you know the stats guy. You might as well <laughs> not try to call me out. So Dan Marino, we all three of us can agree he was a pretty good quarterback, right? Yeah, pretty right. good guy. Okay, he threw 252 interceptions in his NFL career. Okay. So he would have had to throw 504 touchdowns to have a two to one interception to touchdown radio. How many did he threw? He threw only 450 touchdowns. So he was less than two to one, and he's considered a great quarterback. So if you're if you're two to one, you're pretty good. Can we agree? No, that's fine. I just okay. uh, you know had to right. just throw that food for thought. Went back, got some history on you there. <laughs> he, he didn't know that he used that phone. He he but, but but I knew I knew I knew the ratio I was looking for. <laughs> uh, to Kevin Harris again, we talked about him not dressed out. He tore his ligament. Now he he only played. Uh, he's a wide receiver from yep. Albany. He played half the season, five games, but he was the leading receiver two years ago for the Rams. So if we can get him back on the field and, you know, healthy and hopefully yep. close to 100%, that's going to be big for for Albany State to get these guys out there. Uh, but like you say, and what they're recruiting in, Dan Land the third. Yes. He's going to join along with the rest of the freshman recruits. They come in in July, August, and get in the camp. And, and they get in the mix, and they're going to look for some of these guys to be able to play as a true freshman. So uh, it's, it's going to be big, and uh, we definitely look forward to, to that. I, I saw your guy out there, uh, Coach Ely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so, bet, I bet he's been to practice. Yeah, in, that in, in, in his office. In that's his, his office. office. <laughs> that's what he calls that. Coach Ely. Yeah. 
Ram Rooters, of course, uh, cranking it up. They're gonna fight. Boy, that bus is gonna be riding. I don't. They just keep it checked out the whole season because <laughs> they got seven games away from Albany. Yeah. Uh, so they'll be rolling up some here. The Ram Rooters, and of course, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Reed and all, all the rest of them. Uh, Coach Ely and we, we, you know, they they've been doing it for years, and I'm sure they're gonna really get a good workout this year. This is one game. Well, not quite. Remember the, the Road Warriors from '93? Yeah. yeah. They had they had nine. Games game. away, they had two home games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they had an eleven game season. Uh, so, so, so th- 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 this time we we have three and seven away. So, <laughs> a good trip. And last year we had good road trips. They were all within three hours or maybe four or less. Mm-hmm. This year got some doozies. Yeah, Carrollton was the furthest road trip last year, I think. And miles, 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 miles. Okay, you I didn't, didn't go to miles. I didn't go to miles. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, we had some good barbecue up there. The oh, half of the full moon. There we go. Quick pitch, Fred. And, boy, there's some good running there on the far side of the field. And the good uh, that's going to be, I think, Calvin Lua. Get my bearings straight. Can't, so I can, see can't see the numbers. I have to use the screen here. That maybe get the replay. See if we can figure it out. Can't quite see it right here. We think I think it's Calvin Lewis, jersey number 22. And uh, Lewis, of course, uh, he's out of Jacksonville, Georgia. Where is that, Coach? That's over near uh, McCray, Georgia. Where's that, Coach? That's over the, the there. Douglas, Georgia. <laughs> Where's that, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> You know where Douglas is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's over there in the boondocks, baby. Yeah. You ever heard of Louisville, Georgia? Yes, sir. It's spelled just like Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clock winding down. 25 ticks left here in the third quarter here at the Blue and Gold Spring Game. We'll be going to the fourth quarter and a running clock momentarily here. Johnson gets the troops ready to go. Three receivers. Option. Near side. Quick pitch. Tory Sapp Ooh. caught from behind. What a, Let's get him a shot. What huh? a big play there. Number, is that 37? Is that it? Yeah. Hennis right. Washington. Hennis. Yeah. Defensive back able to come in there and track down the uh, uh, running back there, Tory Sapp, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. And what's the score? Three Still 3 <laughs> nothing, as, as far as we know. Fred, you know people love to mess with us. I guess somebody that's watching and listening because Uh-oh. just got a message that, you know, Dan Marino really wasn't a good quarterback since he didn't win a Super Bowl. <laughs> so I went to my favorite quarterback who's won three Super Bowls, Troy Aikman. Okay. And guess what his ratio was? He's what? throwing 152 touchdowns. Guess how many interceptions? 200. 90. 90. So he doesn't even have a 2-to-1 ratio. We, we ran the ball, though. We had. <laughs> Which made it easier for him to pass. Yeah. So throwing the ball incomplete there is going to be Chancellor. And uh, we should be in the fourth quarter here. And this clock should yeah. be running out. They said 12 minutes. Either way, it's going to be a running clock to, to wind down that. So, yeah, some, yeah someone. Well, that's a good thing. Well, at least someone's tuned in. Yeah, somebody's out there listening to us. I'm not going to call no names. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Don't forget, uh, baseball and softball action. If you're listening and if you are if you can get to Albany, we have some home action coming up. Uh, on Tuesday, it's baseball. Uh, we're taking on Georgia College at 4 o'clock. And the baseball field's on the West Campus. On, and that's to be this coming Tuesday. And on tomorrow, we actually have softball action yes. going on at 1 o'clock. So uh, plenty to do. You can go to the Golden Rams, ASU Golden Rams website, look at the schedule, come out and support. Third and nine. Ooh. Johnson is going to be that's taken another down. Sack. Another one. So nowhere to go. And that Dirty Blue really doing a good. It's just been a tough battle there. Only three points and uh, nothing doing. Seen a whole lot of uh, stops. And Bellinas, I think he's gotten the most work out of anybody. He, he comes yeah. in for his – what tenth punt maybe probably? Yeah. And I tell you what, I thought I really thought we'd see some good play in by the by the offense uh, because you know just so many offensive players returning. Both quarterbacks had a lot of playing time last year, but the offensive line just hasn't held up. And you know maybe a new system, new plays being called. The offense, they say the defense is ahead of the offense. You know early in the yeah. season, the, the offense has a lot more to learn. So, exactly. So it's probably one of those situations. I think I still think we're going to be okay come the fall. Let's see if we can tune in to Coach Gabe Gardena, who's mic'd up. Okay, Mike is still out, so he's not on. So we, of she course, like uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. So that's fine, uh, Coach G. Now I walked into his office the other day, and I think I told you this, <laughs> and I said, "Well, Coach, I don't see an offensive coordinator listed, and who's going to be calling the plays?" And I didn't really say it. like, "Who's calling?" He said, "Well, the same guy that did it last year, me." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, point he, blank. Yeah, huh? he, yeah, I'll be doing it, and uh, Coach, and he, and it really has a good spirit and a lot of energy. Uh, all right. 
Talk yeah. about that guy. That's Billy Cobb right there. And, of course, uh, former Ram quarterback uh, and uh, out of Jacksonville. Good guy. Dad is a nice guy as well. And I think he's going to be transferring out. So, uh, uh, good to see him. Well, is that the first flag we've seen today? Yeah. They actually have flags. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not trying to throw them because they want to, they're trying to wrap this thing up. But that was an obvious off start by the offense. Uh, back them up a few yards. That are The blue. No, that's the goal. Goal team getting backed okay. up. Oh, we finally get uh, number five in the game. So rounds lose Sunt, the quarterback, and it could be a cadence thing. You got a new quarterback mm -hmm. in. His cadence is different from uh, the other two quarterbacks that we've had in there. So Lusunt, uh, they call him Louis Lusunt, going to hand the ball off and boy dragging a couple of guys with him. Got all the penalty yards back. Fought for five tough yards, uh, running back on the carry, uh, doing a good job and. Seriously. Now you said Luson is he the he's he's the walk on or is it uh, he, where's he from? He, he's a walk on. He's from down on Delray Beach, Florida. Okay. He played at Village Academy High School. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I you know of course I had to go to Hull and look at some of his highlights. Don't know a lot about him, uh -huh. but he's a, a walk on quarterback with the Rams. Uh, about six feet, one hundred and sixty pounds. It'll be second and ten after they get the penalty yards back after that five yard run back to pass. Luson pumps, boy, yeah. floats it and yeah. intercepted. And he was hit as he threw mm -hmm. that ball, and that ball floated, and that's going to be the second oh, interception today. Lion Judge got some. <laughs> Number 23, Ronald Higgins with that gift, but that ball was a, like a, a dying duck. <laughs> and he kind of <laughs> – and that's what happened when you can't reach, get that ump in it. Yep. Got that, off. Got that jersey grab right when – because, of course, they're not letting anybody hit the quarterback. One of the defensive linemen grabbed that, jer that jersey, that lower body, and – uh. Slow up that arm down, and boy, that's all it took. That's all they need, huh? Lame duck, like they say, and easy pickoff. All right, get your season tickets now. Uh, so if you want a season ticket to get all three games, a home, including homecoming, it's only $40, general admission seating, and you can get it at ASUGoldenRams.com. If you want to get parking included, so you no have an issue with have a parking pass for the season, it's only $50. And then if you want to get into both classics, uh, we pick up the new quarterback just checked in. This is Dylan Bowley from Randolph County. He's in the game at quarterback. He's going to hand the ball off, and that dirty blue is going to knock him down for a two-yard loss at the 38-yard line. But season tickets are on sale right now online. $75 will get you three season tickets and tickets to both classics, the Whitewater Classic against Tuskegee it's pretty good, no. and the Fountain City Classic versus Fort Valley. Pay $85, you get parking. Three home games in both classics. So now, you, you get out. everything, right? Yeah. Now is this this guy he's a freshman? This number I seven? I believe so. He he's a new guy too, so I believe he is gonna be a freshman with us. So oh, we, yeah. we were on the field with him last year, Matthew. Uh he's he's from Randolph County. Randolph County. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We had we had a game with them last year. Dylan Bowley. I think they say his dad's a coach up there or was a coach. And Bowley gonna well, hand he the get ball. Up and then try to block too. <laughs> mm, he's not big enough for that though. <laughs> Uh, I, I saw him face to face uh, this week. You saw him face to face. He came by my office. Yeah. So <laughs> you, you trying to say he's five two? Cause you about he five was two for it. In his chair, and I was sitting in my chair. Okay. I'm taller than Phrase. Well, Phrase don't play quarterback, so he can be <laughs> five to ten or you know five nine or whatever. We we want our quarterback to be at least six feet, so he can you know see through the holes there. Williams is five ten. He's listed, I think. He's close to it, but he's about around the same size of those guys. Of course, Chancellor's the six-five guy, but you know all of them are right around that 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 range there. So it'll be third and ten at the forty-yard line. Bowley, the quarterback in the game now. Two Bowley, another flag. false start. Oh, now they pull the flags Ooh. out here in the fourth. <laughs> Eight forty-two, clock ticking, and it's going to keep winding as the uh, we get out of here. And uh, this is going to be another false start against the offense. And, and Fred, I just like to say that it worked. Coach Gardner is looking looking for here now is the execution. Players, they're going to be able to step up and play second string, third string, because you kind of pretty much know who you want to go with that first group right there. All right. Another one of your comrades here. What's up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably was down there on the field getting some work in uh, early in the game and change clothes to come up here and check us out. Sam Gilbert joined us in the broadcast booth. <laughs> Sam. Yeah, the solid three crews out there. Yeah. Getting it in, ain't it? <laughs> It'll be fourth down coming up. and uh, Fourth down situation coming up. Got a substitution. A big guy coming in. Offensive lineman Ooh. Donald Keys. Uh, number 78 checking in. He's going to replace 
Uh, don't know who that is checking out of the game, but number 68 or 69, 69, I think Christian Jackson coming out of the ball game. And actually, what down are they saying it is? So they mm. not sure. But either way, they're going to switch quarterbacks again, and now Lou Sunt is going to come back in at quarterback for Albany State. And, of course, as we one, actually getting a look at some different players. So you look at the receivers and some of these other guys, Some uh, a lot of the new backup guys in the game now for Albany State as we are uh, winding down about seven minutes to go here. Uh, and, oh. and you can tell it. They, they were the busted play. Yeah, busted play. Quarterback and running back right on top of each other, and the defensive linemen just drive them backwards. So uh, – that that crisp communication, but these guys had they've only been with the team since spring training. This uh -huh. is their, their first time, you know, out there walking on and joining this team. And uh, during the spring, they don't have two days practice. These guys have just been practicing once they a go, day. Yeah, every yeah, they don't do it every Tuesday, day either. Thursday and Saturday, right? right. So six practices roughly on the field together, and then they have three more practices after this game mm -hmm. before they uh you know hang it up until the uh, summer. So. Uh, we'll see what they look like coming back. Right now, I'd say the number one thing we have to worry about is getting some cohesiveness on the offensive line who, And once you settle on uh, starting five. And quarterback, who you going? Second and 14 as the goal team ready to go here. Lou Sunt, the quarterback. He wants to pass. Ooh, Looks holding. near side. going to throw it in. Oh, oh should have been intercepted. Should have been intercepted. That should have been a false start. Uh, it looked like number six for the Rams. I think that's going to be uh, – no, no, that can't be a six for you. Yeah, it is a six. We have an offensive guy. Is that a six? What? The near receiver on this side? Up at the line? I uh, believe. Do we have a – that's Salim Vereen maybe? Maybe Vereen at, at a wide receiver. Yeah. Yeah, he he definitely moved early. But. William Champion, though, should have picked that one off. But either way, it's incomplete. It'll be third down. Still 14 to go here. Approaching five minutes to go here in the – Game. We're in the fourth quarter here. Blue, still three nothing. Blue team. Gold team with the ball. Handoff and that make that tackle. Well, uh, that yeah, it was a good open field there. Had one man hey, to beat up the middle and number the ninety one. I believe is uh, looks like a ninety one. I can't. Maybe thir thirty one. Thirty one. Thirty one. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be Tyree Sanders. Did a good uh, open field tackle. Sanders is going. Are they going? Are they going to call it? They may call it. They may uh, call it. They may call it because I think it was supposed to go about 12 minutes. So, it looks like the team's going to get together here and meet near midfield. So, uh, as they get together, guys, let's kind of wrap it up, talk about what you saw. Well, no, <laughs> we, we saw some things. Execution, we saw a little bit of it. Yeah. A, a small amount of it. I wanted to see some sustained drives. I want to see us move the ball up and down the field. And they have enough practices, so that's it. But see, Master, when you say that, you saying you want the defense not to do well for it because you want the offense to move up and down the field. But it, but you got to be consistent with both. You know, you want to be able to maybe you know get three first downs, and then the next thing you want to get is have defense shut them down. You yeah. Be okay. So back. flashes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to see a play, good play here, good, yeah. play, good play on this side. Yeah. yeah. And I agree. That's what I wanted to see. Some you know some flashes from both players. You know, uh -huh. uh, we saw a couple of pass breakups. We saw a very good catch, and you know the quarterback threw at the ball in there a couple of times. Uh -huh. But just really didn't see either team take advantage of you know the blue go the defense take advantage of the offense uh -huh. uh, or, or vice versa. So. Uh, just just a spring game, man. You know, you can't really gauge a whole lot of what you got by this. You have to see your team against some 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 other competition. All right. I want to remind everyone, if you're still watching, don't forget we're hosting the SIAC Track and Field Championships in Albany, Georgia, next weekend, which is the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And uh, come out and support uh, the SIAC Championships. Albany State, of course, being the host team. And, of course, we have softball and uh, baseball action coming up this week. So you can get all that information at ASUGoldenRams.com. Get your season tickets. Football season tickets are on sale now. You can get them online, ASUGoldenRams.com. Don't forget the first game is September the 1st. Mark it on your calendar. The first home game September 15th. Uh, next home game, September 29th. Homecoming is October the 20th. We invite you to do that. So uh, we will go ahead and we know we have seven road games. You want to go do one more rundown and we'll get out of here? Yeah. 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 Go so ahead. Yeah. don't forget September 1st at Valdosta State. September the 8th, we're going to be in the Whitewater Classic versus Tuskegee. Uh, on the 15th, first home game against West Georgia at 7 o'clock. We go on a long road trip to Lane on September 22nd. <laughs> September 29th, we'll be hosting Miles College, again, a 7 o'clock kickoff. And then back on a long road trip to Salisbury, North Carolina, to take on Catawba College. Uh, and then we go to Morehouse the week after that. That's October the 13th, a 6 o'clock kickoff. Homecoming for Albany State, October the 20th. 
Uh, we take on the Benedict Tigers in Columbia, South Carolina on uh, October 27th. And the Fountain City Classic is November the 3rd. Uh, we invite you to come out, support the Golden Rams as we head into 2018. So I want to thank our crew here, uh, Eric Tabor, Eric Tabor Jr., the mass communication students doing a fine job. As we wrap it up, the Blue and Gold Spring Game has come to an end. And, uh, guys, you had one thing? You had something on Yeah, mind? I was just going to say, you know, hopefully, you know, if you can't make those games, of course, um, we, we hope to be on the radio. Uh, not sure. Yeah, we work. That's in the process. Yeah, all that will all be yeah. worked out in. Everybody, you know, we'll, we'll get it out there as early as we can. But, yeah, we definitely want you, if you can't make the games, you know, listen out for where to tune in. All right. Well, that's going to do it here. So, for Norman Newton and Jesse Massey, I'm Fred Suttles. And uh, until 2018 and a few months, we'll do this again. We say, Go, go Rams! Rams.